from Assumption University, Team Q Girls. Could you please be on the step on the stage, please? Q Girls. If you are ready, the floor is yours. Good luck to all of you. The time will start now. Honorable judges, distinguished guest, respected teacher, and fellow student, good morning. What if the world saw us run out? What a strange question you might think. We tend to believe that our source is renewable resources. But have we tried to consider this problem? Deforestation, contamination, and excessive consumption of groundwater. Do you know that in Africa, deforestation has wiped out nearly 90% of African forests, according to Food and Agricultural Organization. West Africa has 22.8% moisture forest left. 81 Nigeria old growth forest will be disappeared within 15 years. And deforestation will reduce from Kenya's coverage forest from 10 to 1.7%. Deforestation. Watch away about 10 to 40 times faster than it is replenished. Isn't it shocking? It's also increased links of landslide, endanger many people's lives worldwide, and speed up the desertification. It reduces land available for producing food and sustaining wildlife. For example, let's start with U.S. New York State. In Colorado, 23,000 abandoned mines has released cadmium, zinc, and toxic acid to steam water, the water we drink, the water we use. In India, extraction of groundwater has resulted in selling groundwater nearly 10 kilometers inland of the sea. These problems happen everywhere. Our soil is in danger due to contamination, deforestation, and excessive consumption of groundwater. We now understand how ecosystems depend on each other. These problems are threatening to change our world including a place we live, the food we eat, the water we drink, the materials we build the house, and the clothes we, we make. Also, all kinds of technological judgment might not be as simple to obtain in the future as we now used to. If we don't fight to preserve our soil now, our future will become more difficult. Is there any way to fix this problem? Indeed. We are here to encourage each and every one of you to be a vital part of this solution. As soy is the most important part of national resources, it is being used by humans, animals, and plants. The more it is being used without awareness, the more problem occurs. And of course, problems come from us. All of us is the one who creates these problems. So, there's several outstanding problems nowadays. The first problem is the soil contamination. For example, in China, China has faced with a significant problem with soil contamination. The Environmental Protection Ministry of China has conducted a study from 2005 to 2013 and concluded that 16% of China's soil is contaminated. After hearing this, you may think that is far away from yourself, but actually, 
What do you think? Is this sure that it's close to you? I don't think so. How do you sure that these story, these things, the thing that you learn, the thing that you live in, them, is not close to you? The fertilizer, chemically soil, are we safe? Are we safe from them? From surrounding area that we live in, the ground, the, the factory that released waste to the ground that we live in, are we safe from them? After this, I would like to encourage all of you to think about it. It's not safe. Here, and then, after the Department of Agriculture has released that they have found the chemically, the chemically contamination of, of lead, of lead near Thai and, and Myanmar and Thai and Myanmar borders, that they have found the cancers. These people who live in the area of Thai and Myanmar borders and they have, and they have consumed the food, the contamination food and waters, it might lead to cancers. In 2004, the environmental scientists from the University of West Indies have found, have found the lead in the section of West Scotland. And then, the children are affected, and the residents around that were immediately evacuated. Moreover, the university, the university scientists from Northern Caribbean University found heavy metal such as cadmium and lead. What do you think? This is close to you, really, really close. And then these chemical substances such as lead and cadmium get into the human body easily by drinking water, drinking contaminated water, eating contaminated food, and plants. And how? How do you know that these cancer will not affect you, your family, your friends, and yourself? How do you know that the rice that you eat every single day will not be contaminated? Another soil problem is from deforestation or cutting trees. Some people may believe that it is not related, but actually it is. The soil erosion after flooding takes crucial minerals and natural fertilizers away from the land. It will affect the agricultural products because plants cannot grow properly and then we have less food. The study of every coast found that the increased rate of soil loss of the forest killing is astonishing. Another example is that Costa Rica loses about 860 million tons of valuable topsoil due to heavy rains every year. Moreover, in the nation island of Java, was losing about 770 million tons of valuable topsoil at an estimated cost of 1.5 million tons of rice, which is enough to feed around 15 million people. As deforestation increases, the quality and the amount of soil decreases. Additionally, this can lead to more flooding, climate change, and less agricultural outputs will make people starve to death one day. The last problem is consuming groundwater. We know it may seem significant compared to the government water supply. But did you know that our consumption of groundwater can be dangerous to us? The greater example is that the sinking of soils around Bangkok areas, which is very heavy, according to the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, the sinking of soils will sink three centimeters per year, which causes a lot of damages to the building. For example, there were five meter wide, two meter deep, subsided walkways of Brahma 4 Road near Thai Belgium Bridge in 2012, and one meter wide, one meter deep hole in Sukhumvit 31 near school. 
Moreover, some aesthetic is found in groundwater supplies in a number of countries, which, which is in a number of countries which can be exposed to humans through drinking groundwater. And it becomes important public health problem in some regions, according to World Health Organization. How do you know that will never happen to us? How do you know that we'll only be in Bangkok, Thailand? It is not too late for us to help our world natural resource to protect soil, It is not too late for us to help our world natural resource to protect the soil and to preserve the soil from the vulnerable resource for our healthy life. There are practical ways to save soil problems and make it healthy. First, we can start now to set, to start to inform and educate people how to take care of soils such as using vegetable glass to prevent soil erosion as suggested by the Royal Project of Thailand. The vegetable glass is an optional choice to protect topsoil from being eroded. Its root will hold the soil matter together when water rushes down. The government policy should educate and support people by every provincial department of agriculture providing a sample of vegetable glass for farmers to plant and demonstrate how the vegetable glass saves topsoil from flooding on TV. Secondly, we cannot forget to bring back our green forest and clear water by setting restricted forest area in each country and soil museum for students. The government should regulate every province to have green zone where it can be outdoor service learning and secondly, thirdly, we should encourage people to use natural products such as organic fertilizer, encourage farmers to rotate crops and setting organic fertilizer bank for each district which farmers can help each other and buy in cheap price. The government should also correct taxes of waste from industrial factory, promote to stop discarding heavy metal and chemical substances to the water and the ground. And it should close factory that release harmful substances and destroy the environment and affect people. Lastly, the Ministry of Public Health and the Ministry of Interior should strongly advise people not to use groundwater for their own safety and to protect the soil because we do not know when the surface is going to collapse and if it is clean to consume it. As water supply is important, the Metropolitan Water Works Authority should provide enough clean water to everyone in the country within two years. The obvious benefit is that more people are aware the importance of soil. People are more aware that soil is essential for our survival now and in the future. The authority and the decision makers are more aware that soil is a serious problem that everyone should care about. And when everyone give attend more attention to it, there will be less deforestation less soil erosion, less soil degradation, so we can have healthy environment for our future generation. Our sustainable food production will be guaranteed if we preserve our soil resources. The Soil Museum supported by the government will provide people with basic knowledge about soil, soil problem, the preservation of soil, and even further knowledge about soil in the future. And with the support of the Soil Museum, there will be more information available in every level of soil. With the Royal Project from the government involving vegetable grass, which will recover soil from being ruined, will be more widely known and used. When the farmer use this method, they'll have more money to invest in their fields 
because this method is inexpensive. With the more publicity in this issue, people, regardless of their nationality, age, income, or education, can be the part to support and preserve our soil resources. In the words of a well-known soil scientist, Dr. Charles E. Kellogg, there can be no life without soil, and no soil without life. Thank you for your attention. All right, thank you very much for the second team. Cute girls on Assumption University.